Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. We are from group 4. Today we are going to explain about our experiment which is the time taken for liquid drain to complete uh, completely drain from bottle with two manipulated factors. My name is Abu Huraira bin Abdul Rahab Sa'roni. My metric number is 191900. My name is Ong Ewan, holding the matrix number of 192086. And my name is Nur Aina Shafika Binti Wakari. My metric number is 194892. Okay, I will explain about the objective of the experiment. The objective of the experiment is to determine the time taken for complete draining complete draining of liquid from the bottle. Complete draining is measured by observing the last drop of liquid that falls from the hole of the bottle. Uh, we constant the amount of liquid that we use in this project which is 300 ml. Uh, the result overview is, uh, we can see here that um, time taken uh, for complete draining uh, for liquid shampoo is uh, greater compared to detergent, oil, milk and water. The higher the viscosity of liquid, the slower the velocity of liquid drain from the bottle and the longer time taken for complete draining to occur. Uh, for factor 2, a bigger size of hole, the shorter time taken for complete draining to occur. Okay, next we see a material and method. Material that we use in this project is detergent, milk, water, shampoo and oil. The apparatus that we use is 1.5 uh, liter plastic bottle. Scissors and rubber stopper. The procedure is first the material and apparatus are prepared as stated above. The second one, the bottle of the bottom of 1.5 liter mineral bottle cap is drilled for a 1 cm diameter and the hole is covered with a rubber stopper. Then 300 ml detergent is measured with a measuring cylinder and the liquid is poured into the prepared mineral bottle. Then uh, the rubber stopper is pulled out and the stop wash is started to record the time taken for liquid to completely drain from the bottle. Step 2 to 4 are repeated using different liquid milk, water, shampoo and oil. The experiment is repeated by using 2 cm diameter hole and 3 cm diameter hole. The whole experiment is repeated for another 3 times to obtain average result. Okay, next I will repeat. I will explain about the results of our experiment. The liquid that took the longest time to completely drain from the hose uh, were shampoo with, with an overall mean of 54.35 seconds followed by detergent with overall mean of 43.08 seconds and then oil with 9.62 seconds and then milk with 6.71 second overall mean and the fastest liquid to dr completely drain it from the hose is water with overall mean of 6.23 second this is the result for average time taken for liquid to completely drain as you can see um, shampoo has the highest variance with 81.563 and the lowest variance liquid uh, water is water which with variance of 31.041 this is the graph to depict our results as the holes be, uh, becomes becomes larger the time taken for every liquid to completely drains will decrease from the from the results we can analyze that from the graph, the relation that can be seen was as the size of holes increase, the time taken for complete draining to occur eventually decrease. From the table, that shampoo was observed to take the longest time to completely drain with average time of 54.35 seconds followed by detergent with average time of 42.92 seconds then oil with average time of 9.62 seconds and then milk with average time of 6.71 seconds and finally water with average time of 6.23 seconds. From the results, we can conclude that size of holes and types of liquid affects the time taken for liquid to completely drain out from the bottle.
So now I will proceed with the ANOVA analysis. Here is the sample which represent the type of liquid. The column represent the size of hole and the interaction between the type of liquid which is the sample and the column which is the size of hole. So the SS here represents sum of square with a total of 27759.93 and the degree of freedom which is the DF. MS is the mean square where F value uh, will be compared with F critical to determine whether we will reject or accept our H0 which is the null hypothesis. So now for the sample, for the H0, we state that there is no main effect from type of liquid and for the alternative hypothesis is the opposite of the null hypothesis. So from the table, we can calculate that F sample will equal to 4635.44, which is way bigger than F critical. Thus, we reject the H0. So we can conclude that there is main effect from type of liquid. For the column part, same thing as the sample where the null hypothesis is there is no main effect from diameter of hole and alternative hypothesis is the opposite of the null hypothesis. So from the calculated F column, we will get 843.7836 which is bigger than F critical. So we reject the null hypothesis. We can conclude that there is also main effect from diameter of the hole. The third one will be interaction where we state that there is no interaction between type of liquid and diameter of hole for null hypothesis and the opposite for the alternative hypothesis. Same thing goes to the interaction part where F interaction is bigger than F critical, so we reject the H0 as well. For the conclusion, we can make is the increased viscosity of the liquid caused the time taken for complete draining to occur also increase and the size of hole increase the time taken for complete draining of the liquid also in decrease so there are several precaution steps that we can uh, take note of in this experiment which is first we hold the bottle steadily to avoid external force from making the liquid to drain much faster and second, bottle should be held at the same height so the time taken will be more accurate and precise. That's all for our presentation. Thank you.